This little piggy is out for some prize cards. Hey everyone, it's me Joji, and today we're going to be taking a look at a deck that is not really a meta deck, but it is something to look out for because it can be very annoying, and that is Oinkalone EX. Now, Oinkalone EX doesn't seem that powerful on its own, but we're going to take a look at a deck that will make it even more of an annoyance and powerful of a deck to use. And this is the deck here, Oinkalone EX, as we just saw a second ago, Maddening Scent does 10 plus 30 for each other so it does a total of 150 plus 10 160 if your opponent has a full bench and then its other attack is heavy stomp doing 210 but caveat is that you have to flip a coin and if it's tails you can't attack with that oink alone ex next turn but hopefully you flip a heads so you can go with another heavy stomp or another maddening scent now our other cards obviously we need lechonk we're running two different ones here this one's going to be the repelling odor one which lets you switch your opponent's active pokemon in case we want to switch in something that won't knock us out on the next turn or something that's harder for them to retreat and then we also have the lechonk that does collect in case we need to draw a card because our hand was pretty bad and we only had that lechonk to attack with as for our draw engine, we are going to be running the Bidoof Barrel line. And then we're also going to be adding Radiant Greninja to that draw engine. Now, the only other Pokemon we're running is Dunsparce. And the reason we run this is because this is a colorless deck. And Mysterious Net makes our colorless Pokemon in play have no weakness. And with so many Rapid Strike and Single Strike fighting Pokemon going around, this is a really must have in this deck. So let's go on to our trainer cards. We have three Cheryl because we are going to be healing our Oinkalones this way if they are damaged. And you can heal multiple Oinkalones as well. We have three Professor's Research, two Avery. And if you're not running Avery at this point, I don't know what to tell you because it is a very good card to have and to limit your opponent's bench space. Although Manning Scent will do less damage, Preferably use this when you're going to do a heavy stomp instead. Now we have two bosses orders and the card that's going to make it even more annoying to hit those one galones for your opponent. Sharon's Care. Put one of your colorless Pokemon, obviously oink alone, with any damage counters back into your hand and all the items and energy attached to it as well. Really good card. Perfect way to rotate a damage Oinkalone into a Lechonk that you would promote into an Oinkalone EX. We also have two judges, a Merriam in case we need to put an Oinkalone or Lechonk back into our deck and we draw some cards from it. Moving on to our item cards, we have four Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball, and then the Pokemon tool that we're going to be using to make this even more annoying is Full Face Guard, which your Pokemon will take 20 less damage if it has no abilities. And of course, Oinkalone EX does not have any abilities. So 260 turns into 280, even more difficult for most Pokemon to knock out nowadays. Then we also have two escape ropes, a Hisuian heavy ball, a pal pad, most likely to use on Cheryl, Sharon, or our boss's orders, a switch, three paths to the peak, because the only Pokemon that's going to be affected by this from our deck is going to be the Radiant Greninja. But other than that, Nothing else is going to be affected, so a perfect card to use. And then we have for our energy, starting off Lucky Energy, which when hit, we draw a card. And then 2 DTE, which will lessen the damage we do, but 190 on a Heavy Stomp is still not bad. And then to even make it more annoying for Pokemon to knock out our Oinkalone EX, V Guard Energy, which will reduce the damage from V Pokemon by 30. So that Giratina that would have been knocking us out at 280 when we have a full face guard now it's going to be 310 and we're going to survive those hits and then you can even go into a sharon's care bring it back and then put up another oinkalone ex fully recovered with a v guard energy and that full face guard and so that is why this oinkalone ex is going to be so difficult to knock out and if you run into this in the ladder you probably already know how annoying this can be if you ran into this card in the ladder let me know down in the comments 
And while you're over there, why not get subscribed? Because we're going to be doing a bunch more of these deck videos on the new EX Pokemon. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into that ladder and get some wins. Okay, so our opponent did win the coin flip. So they are going to be going first, it looks like. And hopefully our starting hand is not too bad. Ooh, Maridon. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to be a Maridon deck. Uh, not that big of an issue. Ooh, yep, it's a Maridon deck. If we put on our V guard and then what else could we do? Our full face guard, obviously. We're sitting at 310. The Maridons will be doing quite a bit of damage. But I don't think they're going to be doing 310 damage, essentially. Oh, I don't want to... I'm hoping to grab something else other than an energy, a trainer, or honestly an evolution Pokemon. I'm hoping to grab maybe a Nest Ball or an Ultra. That way we can put some more Pokemon on here. Let's see here. I do love this Maridon's tandem unit. You can even chain it with other tandem units, which honestly would have been a better idea for them. Although maybe they know the Oikoloni hexes can be a problem if they have a full bench. But no, yeah, honestly, a tandem unit into another tandem unit would have filled up, filled up their bench to whatever they needed. Ooh, perfect. We were just talking about Nest Ball. Let's grab, let's grab Greninja. And I am going to lose one of these B-Guard energy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to lose the DTE. Let's see what we grab. Path of the Peak is not a bad call here. We already use our Greninja. And this locks them into something here. They can't tandem unit. And their Regigalecki VMAXs won't have an ability. And we'll save our Lechonk here for a turn. Hatch the V-Guard. And I'm going to Judge. Hopefully into a bad hand for them. And a good hand for us. Ooh, this is a really good hand, to be honest. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to pass. I'm hoping they put a beach court, to be honest. But not enough damage uh, or energy onto their Pokemon so they can knock us out. Hmm. What are they going to do here? They could evolve into a VMAX regardless. And then switch out into something that they power up maybe with some electro uh electric generators so they haven't played any of let's see what are they grabbing with the nest ball maybe uh raikou raikou or possibly another regioleki or maridon maridon won't do anything oh zero aura interesting this might be the list of Maridon EX that runs with the Zeraora V-Star as well. I think that one can hit 60 damage onto multiple Pokemon, or is it a single Pokemon? I forget which one it is. Interesting. Attach energy, probably switching Bolt. We'll see what they switch into. I was hoping they had more cards to put up. Let's see here. The other Regieleki. Okay. Ultra. Let's put up Oink alone. Let's put a Lucky Energy here. In case they want to hit that. And we're going to go ahead and discard this for... Hmm. Let's see if we can get our draw engine here we're gonna be hoping for luck here on the top deck well actually i could retreat now and start hitting with madding sent for which i believe is 130 let's go ahead and do that let's save our greninja for now we won't give them the satisfaction of getting that knockout there 130 okay See what they do here they could do a switching bolt 
into something else. I think we gave them a pretty bad hand. What did they play last turn? Just the energy and nest ball, to be honest. So it could be a pretty bad hand. Looks like they might be going for a lightning wall. Oh. Okay, maybe their hand was pretty good. I don't know why they didn't play that earlier, to be honest. Switching Bolt most likely into... Oh, no. Okay, they could have gone with their Max Thunder and Lightning here. But I think they might just do Switching Bolt into... Maybe... Mareep? Maybe Reggie Lucky V? Because I don't think they want to lose this. But I think they're considering it. They have not gotten too much energy. Alright, here's the switching bolt. I'm hoping to top deck something good. Oh, right. V-Guard energy. No damage. <laughs> oh, that's not as great, but let's go ahead and put it down. Maddening scent. 130. So they're actually be doing what is 190, which is better for us, but we still can't knock them out. I'm really hoping maybe for Sharon's care or professor's research here one of the two would be perfect and i'm surprised that they decided to power up the regieleki v max i guess maybe because it can hit through the v guard and or no actually they should have started doing those but professor's research love that uh let's start attaching i don't think we're going to need them done sparse uh let's get rid of this path of the peak we still have one more possibly i should check actually uh looks like it's prized unless i discarded it and i'm forgetting but let's grab a barrel did i discard it already no okay so it is prized let's drop this here. Hmm. Could they knock us out with anything else? I don't think so. So let's yeah, let's just do this here for now. Grab two cards. I will take the oink alone, honestly. Uh, do I want the second Bidoof up? Yeah, why not? Maybe we'll run into another Babarel. Maddening scent. Not. Well, it's now in knockout range, but I don't think they have a way of avoiding the damage on this if I boss it up somehow. Also, to be honest, they might want to retreat because I do have this one clone set up here. Let's see, what are they grabbing? Oh, not, nothing yet. But they may be going into the Zero or a V-Star. I don't think this can be damaged. They can't damage this but it won't be knockout or is it four times four times it's 24 i believe i think it's four times six 60 i should say so i could get this and this mm. still failed the second electric generator wow that's unfortunate they are switching so let's see the Reggie Lucky for the Lightning Wall. Ooh. Or sorry, the Switching Bolt. What are they switching into, though? No damage. What are they switching into? Maybe the Marie or Maridon to avoid the knockout? I'm almost tempted to put the Lucky onto it if we do get hit with the v v Max or the V-Star at some point. I don't think they were expecting this to be such a big problem for them. Oh, they just gave me that. Okay. 
Also, I want to check. What do I have in my discard? It's can't play Miriam. Shuffle up to five Pokemon. What Pokemon do I have in here? Oh, Dunsparks. Totally forgot about him. Uh, let's attach here. I almost want to get rid of these guys. I don't think I will need them. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Let's grab our other Babarel. Put this up. Now we can Babarel for five. Hopefully good five. Not a bad five. Honestly, I think uh, we could see a concede here, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, I would definitely be mad about seeing that just go away. <laughs> There's a knockout on that. All right, we'll get our three prize cards. Hopefully, a pass of the peak in case they get a beach court. There we go. There is the other path. But we're sitting pretty good here to, to win, to be honest. I can see them maybe grabbing the V-Star and maybe trying to knock out some stuff on the bench. If it does 240, they could get the knockout on the tube of barrels, and I am stuck with no draw engine. Roxanne is also a good option, but I do have my barrels. So let's see if they do do the the beast. Okay, oh, it's a V Max. Ooh, not as good, I'd say. Also, did we just draw into our path of the peak once again? I like that, but this is not that great. I have an ability, so that would be one, two, three, 180. Not that great. Honestly, they needed the V Star, I think. I, I honestly haven't tested the V-Star enough, the Zero V-Star, to see if it damages onto the bench. I think I only ran one deck with it when I was doing the V-Max box with the Eternatus, Radiant Eternatus, before. Um, hey, if you're interested in that, maybe I'll put it up in the little eye thing above me, if I remember, honestly. <laughs> but there is that V-Max box. Honestly, V-Max... Are kind of dead i'd say they're, they're only used as supporters at this point the only major attacking ones are ooh, the pass possibly took too long i can't knock this out but i can knock this out let's boss first so we can draw four let's see what we have here Ooh. Make this even harder to knock out. I don't know if I want to attach just so what wait, what am I doing? I'm doing one ten. Still have enough in a knockout. Let's put this here. Oh, I don't want to play the other barrel. Let's grab two. Hmm. I could set up another look chunk. Wait, what's right here? Actually, let's sift through here we have that lechonk okay we'll grab the lechonk and we'll discard the other one next turn with professor's research okay Manny set for knockout wonderful honestly this turned out pretty well that that early pack to the peak and judge i think really messed up their tempo and to be honest, Zero or VMAX, not the best option. I mean, Reactive Pulse does do pretty high damage. Maybe in some cases, but in my case, when most likely I only have like up to three on the bench, not really that great. Mm. I wonder if they've just kind of left out of anger. Because this is quite a bit of a time. <laughs> it could have happened. But yeah, the V-Star I think might have been a better choice if they had it. And I think it was the combination of the early judge and the pass of the pick that may have messed them up. But honestly, it turned out pretty good for us. <laughs> Oink alone, EX. Very annoying deck, to be honest. Ooh. Oh, not enough still. We can still boss this up and win game. But 
I think they may have become inactive at this point. They just they're they're not having any of it most likely. We'll probably see a pass or a concede due to inactivity. Now we just play the waiting game, but seriously, one cologne EX is honestly pretty annoying. Let's see, what is it? It's a 260. Again, minus 20, I believe. Yeah, 20 to 80. And then if we put the V guard on here, 310. If they're hitting us with something that's a V star, or sorry, V Pokemon. There it is. Inactive. I think they just kind of gave up. Okay, so we lost the coin flip once again. Um don't know how many of these coin flips we can lose. Uh, in this recording, we've lost every single one, except when it comes to Oinkalone's attack. <laughs> uh, obviously, he wants to be seeing all of these uh, matches, but a lot of them have been losing that initial coin flip. All right. Ooh, Mulligans. On the... Oh, I thought it was going to be a Mew because I saw that, but it's a Gardevoir. Even better for us. I would love to see how this does against Gardevoir. Draw the one. Full face guard is okay. Mmm, Cresselia start. Can they knock us out easily? They do have the Zacian. And I guess maybe this Cresselia could do pretty well. Well, no, because it does two for each. And if they have is each Pokemon or benched each six but only do 120 that way. Not the best, but you could knock something out on the bench, I believe, right? To one of your opponent's Pokemon, so yeah. That is a possibility for them. If they set up more, that would actually be wonderful. This is all right. Mm, I was hoping for them to set up more. Let's get rid of an Avery and... Lucky, why not? Grab a Doof. Let's drop the Lucky here. Even though it won't matter since this is up. Can we drop the full face guard on it? Turn it into 80? Yeah, let's do that for now. Uh, I don't know if I want to use Avery just yet, so I'm going to judge. Alright, not bad. I got a Nest Ball, which I can use for another Lechonk. And I think I'm going to go ahead and collect. Alright, <laughs> for another Lechonk. Okay. I wonder if they're going to try and limit their bench space to limit my damage. We'll see in a second. Battle Pass. Oof rough definitely rough but they could evolve into a curlia and then use it actually maybe that's what they were going for just for an item they can use curlia for they do have three now hoping that they fill this up and force them into losing some with avery come on would love to see some more Maybe some routes. That would be wonderful. Because then you have to choose between the routes and then the Greninja and Cresselia. Single attach. Okay. Serena for discarding three. All right, let's see how many they discard. Two. Oh, they got rid of Roxanne. I think earlier we saw that they had two. Oh, there's a routes. I like that they did that. Okay, so we can play the Avery now. It would be to our benefit. Oh, that is a good top deck. Uh, do we use it now, though? Hmm. Let's drop a Lucky here. We're going to Industrial Synthesizers for three. Oh, another. <laughs> oh, I almost want to use Professor, but at the same time, Avery. Hmm... I'm going to risk it. Oh, 
okay. Well, well, they will lose one. They lost to Cresselia. Okay. Let's put something else up here now. Can we? Uh, that's not what I wanted to look at. We could still chance it here. We have two V guard. Oh, still nothing. Wow. That's a little disappointing. And after all that, was it the next card? It wasn't the next card, but we have such a good hand. I don't want to use a professor. Oh, that's not a good hand to the professor. We're going to be losing two of our boss's orders. We could bring a map with Palpad. I'm okay with losing the Lechonk, but I did set up the full face guard on it already, which I don't want to lose. Worker. Oh? Works to our benefit. But let's see if they put up another one. They also haven't set up. They're doing a lot of discarding. That's four energies in the discard pile. Let's see if they're going to set up a guard war at some point. Ooh, Zacian. Okay. Which is a good card for them, to, for us, for them to use. Because, let's see. They need to... Put up to 310 if we have the V-Guard energy attached to one of our own Colony X. And a full space guard. And currently they have 1, 2, 3, 4. Mm, okay. Manaphy. Not that big of a deal. If they bench that would be perfect for us to be honest. That means more damage coming from us. Oh, they might be discarding it. Yep. What are they going for? Oh, the other Gardevoir. See if they draw into any energy. Maybe attach the tree and then they can set up this Zashing for attacking. Looks like they did get one. At least one. Oh, onto the Gardevoir. Interesting move. Mm hmm. Very interesting. Are they going to try and knock out with this Gardevoir instead? Possibly. I don't think that's a good idea, to be honest. Because now it definitely is in knockout range. Oh. I don't know if that was a good idea for them. Let's set this here. We're going to put the V-Guard on. Put this barrel up. And I am doing 130. That's knockout. Don't know if they wanted to do that. Or if they should have done that. Yeah, let's go. Manning set. Knock this out. They don't have any more Curlia set up. And they need to hit 310 with the Zacian. Oh, one guard. The regular guard of war. They have five energy. Five energy would put them at 150, 210, minus 50, but only one, 160 for attack. And now we do need the Sharon's Cares to start rotating these out. I think next turn... We try and knock out the guard of our EX, or at least put some damage onto it. That's one. So they'll be doing a total. Ooh, we could even knock it out if they put too much on it. Mmm. That's not good for them either. 
because of all these damage counters, if they put all of that on there, it's in knockout range, I think. Six. Mm hmm. Now it's in knockout range, but seven is. Is it enough? 210, 270. 220. It's only doing 220. Which is good for us. Judge? Ooh. Oh, that is definitely good for us now. We got the Sharon's Care. If they bench anything else, that's even better for us. And they're also down the 20 cards. I have seen Gardevoir EX's uh, deck out. We drew into another Oinkalone EX. That is actually very wonderful. Sharon's Care. <laughs> I'm sure they're not going to like this at all. We're going to put this here. We're going to put this here. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to put that up and this. So now you can't use your Gardevoir EX. And you are knocked out. <laughs> oh no. They didn't have enough. They needed to go for that actual knockout this turn. Oof. This is not looking too good for them. They can't attach anything. They can maybe put up the Mew to stall for a turn. Maybe if they get a worker or another temple. Don't know if this Gardevoir EX runs a worker. It could be running at least three temples, I'd say. Or at least two, to be honest. Let's see, what are they searching for? It's item card, right? Or trainer card? Uh, top six cards. Oh, item card. So can't use it on on a stadium. Are they gonna set up a routes? Oh, Clara. Oh, now I do wish I had the other Avery ready. Do they want to set that up though? What did they grab? Oh, well, I don't get to see it. It's the one thing I don't like about uh, PTCG Live. You don't get to see what they put up that way. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wonder. Do they have enough now? They have five, six, maybe one in the hand, seven. What do we have? Prize. We have our other Sharon prize and our pal pad. Okay. So hopefully we can grab one of those soon. Let's go with this. Do we switch in? They would have to put up the routes or Greninja. No, I think we go with the Maddening set for knockout. No. I think we stall here. That way, don't put this in the discard. Because if they put it into the discard, it, it just adds more fuel. Okay. I think we have knockout on that. Good. Let's draw our single here. Oink clone, not good. Let's just go for knockout then. This one does get knocked out with, I think, seven or eight. And they did put some back into their hand. They're at five here. Oh, I'm almost wondering why they didn't switch. Oh, they do have a worker. Okay. We do have our next path, though. We did draw our pal pad as well. We could also Sharon. <laughs> uh, Sharon, and then put the DTE to retreat back into this link alone. If it doesn't get knocked out. Uh, we do also have a switch and I think another escape available. 
if I remember correctly. Okay, so we're gonna see a total of five go on to here for six, and then attach if they do have it for seven. Which, if I remember correctly, only does 230. But actually, it might be doing enough now. So, six would be doing. Oh, that was a big flash. Uh, 180, 240, minus this makes it 210. I think they still need more. They put seven, that makes it 280. And I think they're short by one. Oh, they knew. They knew. Oh, now we need the boss. The boss would be perfect here for a win. Mm, we do have our boss still. We need to thin out our hand, though. What would be the best way to do that? Play a pal pad. For maybe the Sharon's Karen Avery? Oh, uh, Lucky's not a good draw. Let's play... Oh, before we do that, we can conceal cards. Let's get rid of a Lucky. Okay, now boss. We do have two path. We need to get rid of one of these path, one of the Lucky. Uh, Let's bench... A chunk. Now we play path. Do we play pal pad to get Sharon and Avery back? Okay. We drop the DTE onto here. How much are we doing Madding Set? 100. Oh. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, well, if we get the boss, I think we ha we have it. So we need to do this. Draw our three. Hope for, for a boss. No boss. Discard these two. Grab nothing. Do our next one for three. Boss, maybe? No boss this turn. That's fine. All right. Well, let's go ahead and knock this out. And it does make it a little easier now because we can just boss up maybe this curly if it doesn't evolve. Sharon's care. That's fine. I think we have game regardless because we have this other DTE. And this is weak enough that we can knock it out. Even if they don't set anything up, we have heavy stomp to knock it out with. Yeah, they just don't have enough cards taken already at this point. There's a Curlia instead of an energy discarded. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes it a little bit more difficult. This will heal how much? 120? 120. Which still won't be enough. Because we will be doing 190. Ah, there's another worker. Okay, well now we have no more path. Gardevoir. Down to three cards. They could, honestly, I could just end my turn, possibly, if they shine an Arcana and then draw another card somehow. They have five attached. They have five in discard. That's more than enough now. But I don't think they have enough turns. Did they play Judge? They played a Judge. They could be playing more. That's also a possibility. Psychic Embrace. Let's see here. How many more can they put? They can put five more. Okay. All right. It's really pushing it there. Ten total. Definitely knockout. I, I almost feel like they should have saved some for maybe the Gardevoir. 
but okay, I suppose. There's not much of a way for you to win in the next three turns, because you won't have a total of three turns, honestly. Okay, 310. Definitely knockout. Uh, but we have game. They're going to be healing 120, and we'll be doing 190. All right, my turn. Still nothing there, but this is game here. It is a well played from us. That is doing 270 damage. Game set. Boinkalone EX. Actually a really good card somehow. <laughs> it is a really good card. I, and honestly, I'm very surprised. We could see this honestly being in some sort of rogue deck out there. Okay, so we did lose the coin flip. But let's see what they decide on. They could try going first. There is a high chance that they can hit us with either the Mew VMAX or the Maridon's attacks. Oh, it is a lightning attack. Okay. Uh, let's throw up Lechonk. We can play Repelling Odor if necessary. Mulligan. Two Mulligans. Wow, that is a lot of energy to be drawn. <laughs> I wonder what they're really doing with their deck. That is a lot of energy. Let's grab our two cards. Uh, I was hoping for something like another uh, Lechonk or possibly of a barrel. Let's see if they're going to fill up their whole bench this time. They do have the two tandem units. They could only be filling it up to four, though, or three at this point. Definitely looking through their deck. Raikou and Mareep. Okay. Let's see what else they're going to be doing. What can we do while we're waiting on them? We could discard up a barrel. And the Ultra Ball. I Maybe even the Cheryl, to be honest. We'll see what we draw, but we could also discard whatever we draw. And maybe grab a Greninja. There's the Raikou. I'll be sure fleet footed. Surprised they didn't use the other tandem unit unless. Well, it doesn't specifically say you can only use one tandem unit. We do have two lucky energy. Uh, I don't know if I want to lose that other lucky. Let's get rid of Cheryl. So we're probably not going to be using that anyways this turn. Oh, we're missing our Raiding Greninja too. Okay, let's grab our Bidoof for now then. We'll attach here. And we're actually going to also get rid of... Yeah, the other Lucky and the Switch. And I want to set up another... Lechonk, just in case. Okay. And then repelling order odor. Uh let's put up. Oh, they get to choose. Whoops, I thought I got to choose. Switch out your opponent's active. Oh, okay. I guess you don't get to choose. Alright. Well they did put up Maridon. That's fine with us. Do they have any in discard? They don't. What do we do next turn? Obviously, I think evolve Wink alone, play with Barrel, and then use Industrious Incisors. It's just only a matter of question if they're going to knock us out. I'm almost wondering if they're limiting their bench space because they know the Wink alone is out. Maybe they don't want to have the 150 out damage or 160 damage each turn. Oh, okay. Do they have a switching card? 
No, they don't. Okay, good. That was a good repelling old odor then. Okay, so let's evolve this one then, since we can attack with it. The barrel. And hopefully a better... Ooh, I like that Patch of the Peak, especially since we don't have a Bidoof... Or, sorry, a Raiding Greninja in play. Uh, let's grab... Actually, how many more Bidoof do we have? We have one more Bidoof. Do we want to grab the second Lechonk? I think we do. Let's play that. I was hoping for a trainer card, but that's fine. Commanding Scent, 100. They can't Fleet Footed. And they can't Tandem Unit now. It's not in their best interest to play any more cards, so I, I expect them not to. Hopefully, maybe a DTE at some point, so we can get Knockout on it. Let's see here. Energy for the Retreat. Okay. There is the Retreat. Raikou, probably the Lightning Rondo. Putting that back on. Okay. The Rondo is going to be doing, what is it, 160? And we get to draw off that Lucky. Miriam's a good card, but I don't... We have the Babarel. Uh, ooh, we could also get Greninja. But that doesn't help us. Well, let's take a look and see what else we have. We have a... Oh, we have a Sharon's Care and a Judge. Ooh. You know, I kind of want to grab Lechonk. But then that does more damage for them. We're just going to leave it as is. Okay. Let's play Miriam. Actually, let's actually be Barrel first. See if we get maybe a boss's orders. No, no boss's orders. But we do have V Guard. Hmm. Let's put this here. Let's play Nest. Want to see. We have all our full face guards. Okay. Nope. I meant to finish there we are going to be playing miriam put that barrel back good we're going to discard cheryl and avery grab our other barrel all right and then we can do that one more time hmm that is a very tempting choice. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Escape rope. What up our other Unclone EX? That way we don't get knocked out next turn. Let's see what they give us. Okay, they give us the other Maraidon. And we'll go ahead and Manning sent for 100 there. Wonderful. So now two Maridon in knockout range. Well, close to knockout range, but still pretty close to knockout range. Now they have to discard one more time if they want to put up that Raikou, which looks like it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, but this time around, we can Sharon's Care and then put up this Lechong in instead. All right, I think uh, we're sitting pretty good here at the moment. Oh, powered up one more time. Surprised they haven't played any Reggie Uh They definitely should have done it with the first turn they had the two Maridon out. Once during your turn, you may search. I guess maybe it is one time use. Maybe I, I thought you could use two tandem units in tandem. Um, Sharon's Care. Put this back. Put this up. Evolve it. Put this here. Uh, yeah, we'll put up the V guard so we do they uh, do less damage. Ooh, tempting, tempting. I don't think I'll need to draw any more cards at the moment. I don't since I have the tuba barrel. I almost want to just thin out my deck though. 
because I'm really needing those bosses orders at this point. Ooh, full face guard also really helpful. And let's just adjust recent sizes for one more. Professor, okay, that's fine. All right, maddening scent. And now they have three cars in potential knockout range. We just need them to drop something else onto their bench. Which probably won't happen, but <laughs> I think that's fine. All right, let's see. Lightning Rondo, as expected, 110 now because of the V-Guard and the full face guard. Uh, I could heal all of this off. I think I will. That is uh, pretty annoying, I bet. And let's go ahead, V-Guard Energy here. Um, we'll draw for one. We'll see if we get maybe an Ultra or something. Ooh, that will be helpful later. Well, let's go ahead and hit that. All right, let's grab our two prize cards. Honestly, not that bad of a game, for me at least. Hmm. What are they going to do now? <laughs> oh, we have the other Sharon's Care. I don't... Oh, what did they do? Oh, they used Worker. <laughs> Maybe they'll start getting the Regio like he's out. Which is good for us, to be honest. I think... I do think... Uh... No, we'll probably start powering up this Raichu here. Let's see. They're going to be doing, I believe, 200 damage now. Yep, definitely powering up the Raichu. They're trying to do a dynamic spark. Lucky for us, we do have another path to the peak ready. And I believe it's our last path to the peak. Surprised they haven't... Uh, actually, yeah, it is our last one, but I think the other one is prized? Don't remember. Yeah, we'll prepare our Sharon's Care here. And then maybe promote this one alone. Oh... Not a good idea, to be honest, for them. Okay, good. They're not grabbing anything. I think they were just using it to check. But four does make my attack, I believe, now 130, which easily knocks out the Maridon EX. I think they should have kept it only with this Regieleki V. Oh, are they trying to go for a full knockout here, possibly? They could discard. Hmm. Let's see here. Do they have a switch, maybe? That way don't lose too many. They would have to discard, because mm, if they do Dynamic Spark, it does do 50 less. So, mm, okay, that's perfect. 
We're going to knock this out. They're going to have less cards to be using here. Sharon's Care. Put this one clone up. Put this up. We can evolve this over here. This here. And this here. <laughs> and we are set up once again. We're going to put this uh, Lechonk here just to prepare for other cases. Maddie and set for knockout. I think we have game. We honestly just need a boss so we can grab this other Mirai Don. Uh, no boss there. So they are going to be doing here 240 minus 50 for 190. Still doing 190 unless they can get rid of this path. Oh. And now they're doing 300 minus 50 for 250, I believe. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's 260 for knockout. But they have to discard all of those energy. And that honestly is the downside, I think, to this Raichu V. Because that essentially leaves them with no attacking uh, moves afterwards. Because this only attaches one per turn. We'll see here. Maybe they'll mess up the map. They have to discard what is five, 300. They need to discard six to knock us out. Because where we're sitting right now, we're sitting at 310. Let's see. Are they going to discard all of them? Because they need to. see they're doing the math they need to discard all six to do 360 minus 50 to 310 to knock this out the math is mathing oh oh interesting okay all right that's fine how pad we need to move some stuff around. We're going to put the Sharon's Cares back into the deck. Mm, we could put this into knockout range with the Maddening Stomp. Or we can retreat and then hit with this Maddening Stomp. Very tempting choice. We'll do this we don't have a Sharon's care uh, before we attack let's judge okay oh fa full face guard I like that pair the other one and then we can draw two hopefully into boss no boss where are all our bosses all right let's hit manning scent Now, they don't have any more attackers other than the Raichu setup. So, I think we have game. Honestly, we need that boss. The only thing we can, we can play next turn are the Lucky Energy and then hopefully a card we draw into. So, we can at least start barreling for one. But let's see if we can draw into this. All right, there's one onto the Regilecki. I don't know why I didn't go with Mad uh, with Heavy Stomp, even though I attached. That was silly of me. But that's all right, I think. We, we definitely need that boss now, though. Wow, they are going for the other knockout here. Really aggressively. That was a misplay on my part. I think I was too focused on the Maddening Scent that I forgot about Heavy Stomp. But I think the card differential here in prizes is okay for us. They only need to do two, I believe, now. I think with those two, they get Knockout. 
Actually, no. Do they have to do the three? 190. Three would be... They only do two. It's 120 minus 50. Doing 70. No, I think they just need to do two. So I can take the two off of here. Oh, they did three. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay. I need I need to grab that boss's orders from the deck. Come on. Oh, escape rope. Okay. Okay. We can at least burn some cards here. We're not going to grab it. We're going to play this. We're going to play this. And then we can draw two. Hopefully a boss. Not a boss. <laughs> and nothing playable. All right. Well, Professor, we have to grab the boss. We grabbed both of them. Okay. Uh, full face guard on to here. Maddening scent. Yeah, we could have had game this turn. That was my mistake. But we do have the two bosses now, finally. So we have game regardless. Because they don't have an attacker. And if they put in the V Max, well, that's not going to knock us out. I think their best bet was to try and set up the Maridons as attackers. This Raichu was very helpful, but not put out into the field early enough. And then I think also what <laughs> brought their downfall was the electric gener generator not giving them enough. That second one was really good, though. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. They need a... S Ooh... They needed a sixth to get... No, actually, they only needed five to knock us out. That is very curious. I think they misplayed. I think they definitely misplayed. Because I was a lucky. I think with five, they would have been doing 300. And that would have been more than enough. Well, uh, we're going to have to punish that. With, uh, we are doing Maddening Scent for 130. We're going to bring up the Maridon. We both misplayed here at the end. And honestly, the worst misplay was on their part. <laughs> and I will take that win. Uh, definitely a teaching moment. Make sure you choose the right attack. And so that is Oinkalone EX. Honestly, I'm very surprised at how well this deck can do. Seen as Oinkalone doesn't do that much damage with its Madney Scent. Again, can do a max of 160, and then Heavy Stomp does 210, but most likely you'll be doing 190 because of the DTE most often. But it can tank a lot of damage, and because of cards like Sharon's Care and even Cheryl, you can survive a lot more damage than you would expect. Honestly, it's a really good deck, and I can, again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I could see this being a rogue deck that hops around in regionals, maybe even gets in the top 128. But I want to know what you guys think about this deck. Would you run Oinkalone EX or are you going to stay away from this rogue deck? Honestly, I think it's definitely worth trying out because as it stands, it's a really good consistent tank of a deck. And if you like playing that sort of game where you tank hits, heal off, or even remove the card completely and set up again to make it even difficult for your opponent to knock you out and take their price cards, this is definitely a deck to try. And if you want to check out some more deck videos, definitely get subscribed because we're going to be doing some other EX decks out there, maybe even taking a look at some old V Pokemon decks that may be doing pretty well in the current format. So if that's something you want to catch, definitely get subscribed. And while you're at it, Comment down below what you think would help Oinkalone EX become even more powerful. Anyways guys, as always, stay safe and thanks for watching.